Okay. You let the parts come to me instead of me going to the parts. That's right. That's right. All right. What do you got this on this Oh, uh, just, just to... Just to make, trying to confuse me? I can see how that could possibly do that. Not for long. Okay. <laughs> you get your hands all dirty again. Oh. Uh, go clean your hands off. Right. Okay, so we have a problem with throwout bearing not working. Okay, now what happens on these things is, is they hit right on the shoulder here, or this relief area. It'll hit right here. They're not going all the way. I want to see if that's his problem. That would be the problem. Because see how far the throat brain is sticking inside the hole this time? Before it was only going in halfway. See now it's three quarters of the way in. So my guess is that's where our problem is at. And see as you come, as you go over it comes up, see? <coughs> Problem is to fix this. I gotta take this whole damn thing back apart again. Piece of crap. Like hitting on there? Yeah. Okay, you clean? Oh. Don't look very clean. Yeah, I'm cleaning the yeah. stain. Clean that. Clean the stain on your pants there. Yeah, it's working good. Okay. So I need a felt tip pen. I need to clean this mess off here. Okay. There you go. Or you can go use a tripod if you had it. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe this down. So you think that's hitting again on there? I'm pretty sure that's the problem. Damn. I'm just not sure where we're gonna grind. See how far we're over here now? We're this far? Yes. Before we're only this far, remember? <sighs> Wonderful. Didn't leave a mark. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, you bastard. Why oh, that hurts no matter what I do. Bending over is not helping. Okay. Why did it not leave a mark? I think I'm seeing something right here, but damn piece of junk. Get more fancy. Okay, more fancy. We dropped it a couple times. Okay, we can't do what we want, so we're gonna. Bummer. I got some lubricant on it. Which by the time we get on here, it'll be dry.
phone ringing. Well, this is just a notification. Oh. Notify you that you're stupid. Ah, damn, don't bend over, it hurts. Okay, the next thing is, is it hitting our cover someplace? Because right now we have no idea where it's hitting. Let me hear it. Yeah, just mark up in here. Yeah. I don't think there's anything in the area to hit against it's that way, but that might be. This bush in here. Should I go back to the old style? Or the new style? Or? Hmm. I don't know. Stuff should fit together, but obviously it's not, so. All the things that normally hit don't seem to be hitting right now. Oh. Texture here, you like that? Yes. I still can't bend. No. Okay, so it does look like it rubs right here. See that rub mark? Yes, yes, I do. So it appears that this bearing is made too stinking thick to fit in here. Well, they didn't grind a stupid ass bushing away enough. Which would be the other problem. Okay. Now, if you're hitting on one side, you're probably hitting on more than one side. Feel it hitting on the shaft anywhere, or on the uh, the finger. So I think all the hitting is on other areas. So you had all these rub yeah. marks on here. Yeah. You had all kinds of marks that were hitting on other things. I think. Where are those marks at? In relationship to anything else that matters. <clears throat> Don't know. Looks like it's hitting on the. The shaft housing, or whatever you call it. It's sitting on, the, sitting on multiple locations. Oh. They all have to do with right here. So you're hitting, yeah, that too, yeah. You're hitting right here, and you're hitting over here. <clears throat> but you don't know what's sitting on what. All we know is we're hitting. 
big problem is, is everything I'm going to do right now is I've got the chips all through the thing, which is what I want to do, but <clears throat> oh well. That's right, yeah. All right. Oh shit, I knew, oh I know that feeling. Put that somewhere, it's not going to get dirty. Okay. Sit right there where they're supposed to be. People keep hiding them from me. See that big red thing that says record right there? Yep, yep. That means you got the button in the right spot. Okay, good. Definitely right in the right area. Yeah. A little bit deeper. <clears throat> A little bit further down here. Can't tell if it's that low or not, but it's close. That side we cut the hell out of that side, so good. Could be hitting up on that, no? Oh. You got pocket lint all over it now? Oh no.
I didn't check to see how deep I was getting before, but I'm pretty sure I'm a lot deeper than I was. Feeling a drag on the shaft, so I don't think it's hitting on the shaft. All right, all right. Yeah, there's a little bit of drag there, but yeah, it's definitely dragging right when you're pushing on it. Okay, so the next thing is we're pushing on against the shaft at some point. There's no drag marks identifying that. Definitely not. I think we're a lot higher up where we're hitting now. I think we're hitting right in here. Oh, on there, huh? Wow. Go give me that felt tip pin again. Felt tip pin. <clears throat> we just hitting in a different area, so I didn't leave a mark. Because now I can feel it high centering. Oh. Before it was not high centering, it is now. It just starts to curve again from the flat. Oh, on that side, yeah. That's where we're hitting. Okay. There's no real way of doing that without taking it all back apart. Oh, no. Okay, so I need my small screwdriver. You see that? Oh. <clears throat> all right, so. See the little shiny spot right there? That's where we're hitting right now. So if I'm gonna, if all I do is flatten that area out right there, that'll give me a little more trouble. Shouldn't have a problem. Try to get this clip out of here. Square oh. off here is where we're hitting. Oh. So we just come down the area right here. Take it down a little bit. That's good. Flatten it out a little bit. Take too much of a snap off there. So. Yeah, we're back hitting on other areas again. So we're not really hitting on the shaft now. It is hitting on the shaft, yeah. No, see how it's dropping? Oh, yeah. We're not really hitting on that again. 
So now we moved it in deeper because we ground this away. And then we hit on the shaft. I ground the shaft away. And now we're back in on the outside edge again. So that's out these these areas right through here. This thing's made really thick through here. So the next thing is you grind this stuff here oh. a little bit. But we got these ground away. We'd have to see where they're going to hit. They'll leave a mark when they hit, but we don't know where that spot is right now. Yeah. They will. Uh, they will wear themselves in because see this stuff is does rotate a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Now we get the clip back in there. There's our clip. So far we haven't destroyed it yet. Can't tell which side is sharp anymore. I mean, this is the side that's rubbing on everything, so <clears throat> I assume it goes in that direction. Getting easier to put in, huh? Now you make sure the clip, something is. You want to make sure the clip is not loose on the shaft. It should, shouldn't spin. Huh. Yours was spinning because it was loose. Oh, I know, I know. Okay. Shaft's all back in. Okay, so now we just go back over the bike. <clears throat> it does look lower. See if this actually does help us any. We're lucky. Should get this fixed. Okay, okay let's go find out. around here. Okay, we got a lot of editing to do. Oh. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. What, editing? Yeah, <laughs> on this one? Oh, what not to do? Oh. How come I ended up with such a... Ah, shit. Okay, I need a push rod. Okay. Spring is not on here. Spring. Oh, oh I, I don't know. Makes it easier to put the cover on the spring on it? No. Oh, it holds it in the 7 o'clock position? Or? Fuck, I can't get it over like this. Find a fucking hole to push her up. Uh -huh. uh. Thank 
push and push on until they're in and they're too late. And then they're going to fill out. Is that screwdriver all the way in? Yes. Pressure? Okay. Just keep the pressure on, let me move it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not pushing. Exhaust is in the way, which is screwing everything all up. Things. That's not the one that's screwing up. Oh. There's no pressure at all. I got pressure. Now you do. Okay. Push or no? No one's about to go in. It's not going. Why is it not going in? I know you're in pain. If you want, I can try. I can't fucking fight the damn thing. I know, I know. It's supposed to go in nice. Piece of shit. Fuck it. I put it on a couple of times while you're Fuck. Out, Just to see if I had fixed it. I didn't. Fucking there. spring won't stay on. Nothing stays on. Everything's fight, fight, fight. Uh, Fuck. What the hell's a goddamn problem? Push it out of the way. Okay, push it up. Leave the fucking thing away. I don't care. Okay, now put the push rod in. Put it in. You're going to look in the hole. Are you pushing it or not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not in. No, we're not even close. 
Jones. Nope, throat burner's all jammed out. And then it falls down. Gravity's not helping us at all. Yeah. Black Bean Lean is killing us. Oh. Exhaust is in the way on this side. Get oh, your fucking goddamn hand out of my face. Right, sorry. Break it off. Okay. Okay, put pressure okay. on it. Don't fight oh, me, just okay. put pressure on it. Okay. Put five pounds on there. That's fine. Three pounds. Gears engaged. Something's bound up. I don't know what the hell it is. I had the um, um well, uh, and, uh, I had I put the cover back on with the throw bearing, and I got it just to move it to half inch. That was before we got it. Push down a little bit. Okay. Just put a couple pounds up, right? Okay. Is it in there? Yeah. Fucking exhaust. Piece of shit. Alright. About that. Got to hear you. Is the push around moving at all when I'm doing this? Yeah. It's just, you know, I can just feel bouncing. It. It ain't doing anything. Are you pushing? Yes. It popped. Went in. I'm assuming the fork was not engaged. Oh, in the slot. In the slot. Oh, I feel it. Don't no. push on. Oh, okay. Fighting me. I'm trying to keep it all right. right. All right. Feels good. No, it ain't coming out. That's why I wouldn't go to fucking gather. Oh. Something's fucked up in there. I don't know what it is. Can't see it. Can't get to it. Can't work on it. I barely move. Yeah, I know. You can take a call it off. 
whatever the fuck was beating on the damn thing is what was keeping it from engaged. But you had it out further, now it's not. Why is it not coming back? I don't know. whole thing is moving in and out a bunch. I'm assuming it's not engaged. I can pretty well guarantee it it's not. Even if it's not on that gear or whatever. No, I need something to fucking lean on. Oh I'm sorry. I can't didn't know. bend over. Okay. I understand. I can't use my goddamn back right now. I know. I, I am anyway. But look, it hurts like hell. I'm trying. You can stop. Ah, fuck stopping. Oh. Got work to do. Ah. Okay, this push rod is not engaged yet. Oh, oh. Push, are you pushing on the gate? Push rod at all? You want me to? Yes! Yeah, okay. What the fuck do you think I'm doing over here? Pull my fucking Peter? I don't know. Be. Don't beat on it. Just put steady pressure. Okay, you want it? Yeah. I don't know what the hell is going on here? Did the push rod feel like it went in any deeper? Yeah, it seems like it. But I mean, you'd be able to tell. Push on it. Are you pushing? Yep. Don't push hard, just put oh. pressure on it. There's pressure. It keeps rotating a bunch. Are you pushing at all? Yep, yeah, yep. Push one is not engaged. This thing just wobbles all over the stinking place, which means it's not in there, as far as I can tell. Ah, fuck. Uh, something is screwed up big time. Yeah, so, I'm going to lay 60 right here. Okay. Thanks, all right, Steve. thanks, man. I'll talk to you later. All right. Good luck on that. It should move more than it is. Is that what? Is happened? that where the push rod's been the whole time? Is it right here? No. You got the goddamn steering yeah. on your side. Put it where it's been sitting all the time. Well, I don't know where it's been sitting. I think we had. You're it over there fucking pushing on the damn thing. Where's it been at? About right there. How much is this supposed to move? A lot? Because I mean it was moving. Fuck. Where's the throw bear? I don't even see it anywhere. Um, I'll get it. Where's it at? I don't know. Well look on the floor. I can't see under my exhaust system. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Vision's out of vision. I can't see. I'm sorry, but I'm bending down to look at it. Put the push, put the steer where it's been sitting this whole damn time. All right, right there. That's where, well, it's not been that far in, no. What did I just say? All right, there it is. Do you have it where it's been the whole time? As far as you can tell. No, this, this it was put in. Put it wherever the goddamn steer was. I got to push that in. Put the steer where the fuck it's been. All right, right there. Is that where it's been the whole time, more or less? I guess, yeah. I wasn't paying attention on it. I was just trying to keep pressure on it.
That's his spot. That's about right, right there. There ain't no way it was there. Yeah, it was right about there. I no, think. I just moved an inch from where you just said it was. Oh. Well, now I'll pay attention. Well, it's fucking too late now. I wasn't, uh... I know I already know where the hell it should be. Oh. What do you think it was? It would mean nothing. Oh, that's true. I sent the throat brain in that other cover just to see it. Well, it didn't work that well either. It didn't work in any of these damn covers. Oh. That's the problem. Even the one I ground out? The one I came in with? Yeah, it didn't move very far. You're right. Now, one thing I do see here is I see a whole bunch of damn rub marks, but I think those are from the grinder where it didn't clean all the way across. That'd be my guess. I mean, is it stupid to go back to the other way? I mean, it seemed to work. I don't know. These are all stock parts. They should be fitting oh, together. Okay. <clears throat> the reason why stock parts should not fit in stock bikes. I know. They have issues at times, but they should be fitting together. The problem is the damn thing sits way the hell out here. You got this much free play on everything. And the damn thing's going back and forth more on the push rod would ever allow it to go. Now your push rod's a piece of crap over your main shaft. It's going to flop all over the place, but it's moving a more than that. And if it's engaged in the damn hole, it wouldn't be moving like that. It's twisting like this. All this movement here is what's going on. What's keeping it from going in there? I have no idea. I think it should be sitting way the hell out of here. And then it goes back and forth. You want to try I mean, I'm just holding it here. Go get me that push right off to the workbench from the other boy. Or not the throw up there, I mean. Yeah, this one fits in better than the other one. Is it going deeper than the other one? Push pressure on it. Okay. It hasn't reached me yet. There it is.
one we had before. Every time I had it. It's not going over the main shaft. Right now the thrust where it should be. Oh, I see. Should go I over turn the this motor. That turn it and make it go in? Oh, that's what happened when I was doing it. It wasn't engaged on the way else at now. It seemed to not matter. Like, I could put the cover on. It's engaging the teeth right now. That's why I won't go. Oh. And how much it has spun back, I don't know. So when it falls off, who knows? Now, if I move the kicker gear in, I think I should be able to move this down a little further. Okay, that's down further than it was. It's definitely not on the kicker mechanism now. it all the way around and then it worked and back in. Push it in. Push it out. Push it. Stop. It's definitely engaging on a kicker. Kicker gear is fighting it. I think we're back in the same spot now. Oh. Okay. Let me move this one. Oh. Okay. 
that full pressure like it's supposed to right now. Something was engaging on the kicker. I'm not sure what the problem is right now. Whatever it is, right now it's functional, but it's not your throttle very. Right. Okay. So, now we're going to try to take it apart. Oh. Okay. Can't just clip it in, huh? Every time I did it, not knowing what I was doing, of course, I never put the kicker on until last. And it seemed to, but I had to sometimes move it a little bit to make it all mesh, you know? That is a lot of travel. Yeah, you pull it off. Pull it off? Ah. Oh, is that what you said? Ah. Are we taking it off? Yep. Okay. All the way off. Oh, jeez, that hurts. Oh. Try to make your try to make your throat brain work. Okay. Ah. Right now we got about this much. We got a, not quite a quarter inch of movement of the throat brain over 316, so probably a good solid 316, which is more than the thing will ever work. So we have full travel, finally, and no binding. Kicker gear looks like it was working, but I can't tell because I can't kick the bike over. Spark plug. Next thing. Oh, take it off. Okay, what am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. We're pulling it off. Take it off. Out goes the good one, then goes the crappy one next. Okay. Now, let me see that. So when you wind up this kicker gear, this ratchet stop right over here gets over here right where the throat burn is, and that might be binding it, not letting it go on the on the kicker gear here where it has to go over. Might be what the problem was, I don't know. So I'm going to try to turn the kicker gear further. I did that by disengaging the ratchet so I can spin the gears to combo both the gears around. And I probably had this all the way, you know, halfway through the kicker stroke. If you had to, didn't have the spark plugs in there, you could have turned the motor over and probably do it. But we'll work around that. Okay, so let's see if I can duplicate it again without killing myself. Ah! Oh. Ah! Damn, that hurts. Ah! Oh. Okay. Ah. Damn, that hurts. Okay, so we're gonna run this pig all the way around as far as we can go. See all that jammed in there? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it hurts. Fuck. Piece of shit ass fucking spring of yours. So we got a pretty good wrap on that sucker. That's probably. That's where it's at the very bottom of the kicker stroke. Okay, which one is that one? That's the other one. This one's yours. Okay. Oh my God, I got to drop down a little further right here. I'm hitting on, hitting on everything. Okay, does that look like it's in there? 
pushing on it a little? Oh, yeah. We love it. Yeah, yeah. Figure out if I'm engaged or not. Can't see him here, but I think I am. Okay. Okay. I need to get the kicker gear out of the way. Kicker is engaged. Back on the push rod. Okay. Nope, it's not where it belongs. Push on the push rod. Okay. Push it all the way down. Keep pushing. Push rod's going, but not the damn cover. Oh. Okay. Okay, leave it there. Don't do anything. There we go. Okay. Okay, push on lightly. Okay, lightly. Oh, lighter than that. We got more travel than that? Yeah, it's, it's like it was. Push on lightly. Not that hard. Oh. ramp on the back of the kicker gear is causing a lot of problems. Oh, my hand's tired. It's okay though right now. I don't know. Just another minute. Get the spark plug out of this motor so I can turn it over. I have no idea where the kicker is. There it is. Oh. 
Trouble. You got 50 thousand trouble. So this throw burn is definitely rubbing on something. You can throw the kicker gear to keep it from engaging. The other one was working. So whatever the difference between this one and yours is, is the problem. Okay, so. Go ahead and pull that back off and give me the throw up here. Okay. Oh, fucking hurts. Oh. At least we got half an idea what's going on. Yeah, I think, I think that, that one was made in China. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. They're all made in California. Oh, are they? Everything. Yours are a lot thicker than this one, that's all. Alright, flip the camera off when you get a chance. Do what? Flip the camera off when you get a chance. Oh, okay. 